Hi Lisa, Michael Sanchez here. Uh, I know you want me to ship you some violins, so I figured I'd put together a video for you. So the first one out of the European bunch that I talked to you about was the Watsik. So this is a really beautiful violin. I actually think this is the one you're probably going to like the most, honestly. Uh, it's got the light varnish like you mentioned that you were looking for. It's got just a beautiful back. So let me know if you like the, the craftsmanship. And uh, the sound is really good, really rich sound for the price. I actually think it's a really great violin. Um, I also have a Kowalski here as well as a Topa, so I'm going to play through these so maybe you can decide on maybe two that you might want to try uh, or just one. Alright, here's the first one. So this is the Watsik. Alright, next one is the Kowalski. So this is a darker varnished Kowalski. A uh, really nice looking instrument. See the back, it's a beautiful one piece back. So this is a really nice instrument. It's going to be a little bit more colorful in my opinion than the Watsik, but you can sort of judge for yourself. Alright, and finally the topa, and this is actually a lighter varnish topa. So here it is. Beautiful, beautiful violin. Really nice back. So normally the, uh, the topas are a little bit darker varnished, but this is actually a lighter varnish topa. So let me play this for you. So yeah, very penetrating tone, uh, very colorful obviously, very rich, um, but honestly the, the Watsik I really really like for the price range and being that you're looking for a lighter varnish instrument, I would for sure recommend trying this one. And then I would say probably the Kowalski I could also send you, uh, both of these would love to uh, get you to try. So I just want to make sure you like the wood, as you just say that craftsmanship and look is also important to you. So these would be the two that I would recommend for sure the Watsik and the Kowalski. Very good. All right, well, let me know. Send me an email, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.